Moving about politics, this is probably the worst kept secret in all of Atlanta today, this week, and the week before. We're talking about a familiar face jumping into the Atlanta mayoral race. Mm -hmm. Paperwork filed today is the latest clue that Kasim Reed wants his old job again after leaving office four years ago as Atlanta mayor. Joe Hankey live at City Hall for us tonight with more on Reed's expected run. Jeff and Sheba, crime and public safety perhaps already the top issues in the mayor's race right now. And during his time in office, Kasim Reed did reduce crime and he worked very closely with Atlanta police. But top staffers in his administration as he left office left behind a trail of corruption. Paperwork filed this morning points to Kasim Reed seeking a return to the mayor's office, especially after an invitation was recently leaked for Reed's birthday party on Thursday seeking campaign contributions, with the line paid for by Kasim Reed for Atlanta at the bottom. The paperwork filed today with the state allows Reed to now accept contributions for the race. The field has been growing by the week after Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms announced last month she won't seek his second term. The time frame for this election is very short. Everybody's getting in the game late. Harvey Newman, professor emeritus at the Andrew Young School for Policy Studies at Georgia State University, says Reed will be able to use his history of growing the local economy and tackling crime in Atlanta to stand above some candidates. Recent estimates have Atlanta police understaffed by around 400 officers. He was able to increase the number of sworn officers to 2,000. Now, obviously, we've not retained those officers since then, and re uh, hiring and retention are both issues facing whoever becomes mayor. And in 2016, Reed was very visible at demonstrations in the streets, even meeting protesters in a closed door meeting to hear their demands for police reform. I don't believe that meeting and listening is a sign of weakness at all. I think it's a sign of caring. Part of Reed's time in office, though, was filled with controversy as top officials and staffers in his administration were investigated and some convicted of crimes related to corruption. Reed himself, though, was never charged with a crime. Newman predicts Reed has more advantages than disadvantages working for him, especially during a race where some candidates will simply be scrambling to introduce themselves to voters. Name recognition and um, having served as mayor and having a strong network that uh, I suspect that's going to make him hard to beat. Jeff, city council members I talked with over the past month had told me they believed some potential big name candidates were waiting out Reed to see if he would get into this race. And if he did join the race, they would stay on the sidelines and not announce campaigns for this year's mayor's race. Newman, who you heard from, agreed with that thought process and said he doubts we'll see any more big names announcing campaigns. Yeah, Ma Mayor Reed, former Mayor Reed, casts a giant shadow over this race and a giant shadow over everybody who is running or planning on running for that office. Joe Hankey in downtown Atlanta, thank you. The city of Atlanta now bracing for a heated race, to put it mildly. Here's a look at the other five who have officially filed paperwork to accept campaign donations. City Council President Felicia Moore, Councilman Antonio Brown, Councilman Andre Dickens, and Attorney Sharon Gay. And not much is known about Roosevelt Searles. He is also listed on Georgia Campaign Finance Commission's website. Formal qualifying for the mayor's race occurs later this year. The election is on November 2nd, not that far away.